Hello my beauties and welcome to my first video of 2016. I hope you guys all had an amazing, amazing New Year's that you'll remember forever and I hope that 2016 has already started off on an amazing foot for you guys. So I ended up having a beautiful dinner with my hubby and you better believe that I wore that stunning open back dress that I wore in my last tutorial of 2015 with that big voluminous bun. It was a major hit and it looked amazing. I really hope some of you guys tried tried out that hairstyle as well because it was so beautiful and it lasted all night long. So getting back to this video, I wanted to kick off 2016 on a high note and I thought what better way to do that than with another hack video. Let me just say that I really hope that you guys aren't sick of my hair hack videos because I have so many more ideas and information that's literally flooding my brain and there are going to be a lot more hair hack videos in my future. Yeah. So I really hope you guys are ready because 2016 is going to be all about them hacks. Yeah, we be hacking. So this is a super special hair hack video because it brings me back to my roots. A lot of these hacks I discovered when I was young and I had no money and I wanted to do so many different things with my hair, but I just didn't have the means to do so. So I had to be smart and savvy. So without further ado, and in no particular order, here are my 22 bro girl hair hacks that I think every girl needs to know. So this is a great hack for those of you who want to style your hair in endless ways, but you're only in the market for one heat styling tool. If you had to choose between all the heat styling tools, I would say go with a flat iron because you can not only straighten your hair with a flat iron, but you can also curl and wave your hair all with just one heat styling tool. Another way you can use your flat iron to hack the way you style your hair is to fake a blowout. So what I like to do with this is take my flat iron and straighten the top section of my hair and when I get to the ends of my hair I either flip them outwards or inwards and in this case I'm going to be going by layer by layer and flipping one layer outwards and flipping one layer inwards to create a beautiful blown out effect. So as you can see, this amazing multi-purpose heat styling tool has just eliminated the need for a blow dryer as well as a curling wand and any types of barrels that will allow you to create waves. The main thing you want to keep in mind is that you invest into a very high quality flat iron. This is going to help minimize the amount of damage caused to your hair and it's also going to allow you to style your hair all in one easy swipe. And the flat iron that I've been loving and using for the past couple years or so is my Croc Infrared Flat Iron. If any of you guys are interested in this flat iron, I do have a 20% off coupon code just for my subscribers and it's good for any of the heat styling tools or products on the Croc website. All of the information is in my description box, so feel free to check that out. So dry shampoos can get a little bit pricey, so instead you can use cocoa powder, baby powder, or cornstarch on your roots to suck up oils and create more volume at the roots. And best of all, it's less expensive and you probably already have one of these items laying around at home anyway. Volumizers and texturizers can also get quite pricey, so this is how you can hack your DIY dry shampoo to create extra volume at the roots. So all you have to do is apply your choice of DIY dry shampoo to the roots and cool your hair into a tight bun on the top of your head before you go to sleep. Clip it down to the top of your head with a clip or two like I'm doing here and I like to clip it up this way because it's a lot less damaging to your hair than using a hair elastic which can weaken and break your hair over time. So it's perfect for those of you who are trying to grout your hair like I am. This bun will also allow the heat from your scalp to naturally lift your roots so that your hair will look more voluminous in the morning when you take it down. So for some people, when your hairbrush starts to look this way, you're probably thinking that it's time to get a new hairbrush. But I'm going to show you how you can clean your hairbrush to make it look as good as new. And I purposely collected a bunch of hair onto my hairbrush to show you how to properly clean it. So yes, I do realize this looks absolutely disgusting, but I swear I do not shed this much. The things that I do for my videos, guys. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is use the pointy tip from a rat tail comb to remove all of the hair from the bristles. And this is going to make it so much easier to lift the hair out from the hairbrush. So next I'm taking my hairbrush and putting it into a large container and then I'm putting some plain old vinegar into the container and filling it up with lukewarm water. I'm allowing the hairbrush to soak in this vinegar water mixture for a good five to 10 minutes to disinfect everything. And then to make sure that that vinegar smell doesn't linger, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hairbrush with some hand soap. And I'm using this antibacterial natural hand soap. 
So after I washed my hairbrush with the soapy water to remove all the built up dirt and oil and then taking my hairbrush and laying it upside down on a paper towel to dry. Once your hairbrush is dry, it will be as good as new without having to replace it. So if you're trimming your split and dead ends on a regular basis at your hair salon, they can get pretty costly. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can cut your split and dead ends at home with a good pair of sharp barber scissors and your fingers. So for the first method, all you want to do is take a section of hair and you want to weave them through your three fingers, your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger. Then you want to slide this strand of hair between these fingers and all of the split and dead ends are going to pop up over your middle finger. So just go in with your scissors and and cut off all of this split and dead ends that you see. So for the second method, you want to take another section of hair and just twist it tightly. And then you're going to see a bunch of split and dead ends come out from the sides of the twist. So you just want to go in again with your scissors and just cut off any of the dead and split ends that you see. So if you're a little tight on money, the last thing you want to do is spend money on useless bun makers or use one of your socks to create a fluffy bun. So instead of that, you can actually use things that you probably already have and all you need is a couple of good hair elastics. So all I'm doing is taking my hair, yeah, I'm gonna repeat, good hair elastics so they don't snap on you. I'm gonna take all my hair and just tie it up into a high ponytail with one strong hair elastic. And then I'm going to fan this hair over the hair elastic and just use a hairbrush to smooth out this hair. And I'm taking a second strong hair elastic and tying this hair around the base of the ponytail. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go in and pull out sections from the top part that I tied away, and I'm gonna start shaping out my bun. So I'm gonna pull out these sections, and then once I like the size of the bun, I'm gonna start taking the ends of the hair and wrap them around the base of the ponytail and then pin them down with bobby pins. After I've pinned down all of the loose ends around the base of my ponytail, I'm then going in and taking my bun and then pushing it downwards and then pinning down the underside of the bun to the top of my head. This is going to completely disguise the base of the ponytail and it's going to look like you used a bun maker to make this bun, but really all you used was two good and strong hair elastics. Oh, and some bobby pins. So hair embellishments are amazing for taking your hairstyles to the next level, but some of them can get a little pricey. So if you have a bunch of bobby pins lying around, you can put them to use by just creating beautiful architectural shapes out of them. You can use them to pin back your hair in interesting ways. There's literally endless possibilities that you can use bobby pins for, and they're super inexpensive. So I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of gal that if there is a little bit of product left in something that I purchased, I need to make sure that I get every drop out of it. So as you can see here, I have a bottle of shampoo that had a little bit of product left in it and I couldn't get it out otherwise. So what I did was just put a little bit of water in there and I'm shaking it up and this is going to loosen up all the product from the outside of the container and it's gonna make it so much easier to pour. This way you stretch your dollar a little bit further. Since most oil and dirt build up around the crown area, you can selectively shampoo only your crown area to save products and extend the time in between hair washes. So most of us are used to applying shampoo throughout our entire hair length, followed by conditioner. But did you know that this method is actually super wasteful and a lot worse for your hair? The only part of your hair that really needs to be shampooed are the roots of your hair. The rest of your hair will get indirectly washed after you rinse out all of your hair from the shampoo. Another thing you want to do is apply conditioner only from the mid to the ends of your hair. Applying conditioner to the roots of your hair will weigh your hair down, make it look flat, and it's going to cause your roots to become a lot greasier much faster. Conditioning only the ends of your hair will keep your hair healthy and moisturized without weighing your hair down. And the best part is you're going to be using less shampoo and conditioner, and if you apply Apply your shampoo to the roots of your hair and conditioner to the rest of your hair at the same time, it's also going to save you a lot of time. So if you guys are looking for a quick and easy deep conditioning mask that only has one ingredient and doesn't cost an arm and a leg, don't look any further than your extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil or EVOO is full of different types of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. It helps retain the moisture of your hair and stimulates hair growth and is perfect for those of you with dry 
frizzy, unmanageable hair. EVOO also protects your hair from dirt, pollution, and UV rays from the sun. And best of all, a huge bottle of EVOO costs less than $10. Another amazing deep conditioning oil is coconut oil. And this is one of my favorites. I love the smell. I love the texture. I love absolutely everything about it. It also makes a great base for deep conditioning masks and other types of hair masks, but it's also amazing to use on its own. So coconut oil is amazing for stimulating hair growth. And it is also one of the only oils that can fully penetrate your hair strands because of the size of the monocle. The monocles. So because it can fully penetrate your hair follicles, that means that it's going to prevent water from getting into your hair shafts and stripping your hair out of its color if your hair is color treated like mine is. So that means that you rarely have to go for hair touch up. So I find that this definitely prolongs my hair color and keeps it bright and blonde. Another thing I love about coconut oil is that it is a natural antimicrobial, which means that it is going to promote a healthier scalp and fight things such as dandruff and lice. Because coconut oil is such a highly effective moisturizer for the scalp, it also works by neutralizing the pH balance of your scalp. So if your hair is super, super dry or super, super oily, it's going to alter the pH balance so it's more balanced. So your scalp is a lot more easy to manage. And if your hair is producing less oil, that means you can go longer without washing your hair, which every bro girl loves. Coconut oil also adds luster shine and softness to the hair and it slows down hair loss and a good old jar of coconut oil that is virgin cold pressed and organic costs anywhere around ten dollars and will last you a long long time I personally love texturized voluminous hair, but most high-end volumizers or texturizers can cost between $20 and $60 depending on the brand. Yeah, that's expensive, but I'd like to let you know that you can make your own DIY dupe at home for only a few cents. I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos before, but it's hands down my favorite way of naturally adding texture and volume to my hair. So all you need is an empty spray bottle, seltzer water, some sea salt, a little bit of coconut oil and if you want you can add a little bit of hair gel into it to allow your texture and volume to last longer there's no exact measurements for this but i typically put in half a cup of seltzer water with about one teaspoon of sea salt and then i put about one teaspoon of coconut oil and you can use a little bit less than that if your hair is on the finer side and you can put one teaspoon of hair gel combine all of this into the empty spray bottle and go ahead and spray it on your end or wherever you want a little bit of volume and texture and you're good to go. And once you have all of these ingredients at home, you can recreate this mixture a billion times. So another way you can put good use to your hair elastics is to create a perkier ponytail. You don't need any volumizers for this or anything, just two good strong hair elastics. So all I'm doing here is gathering all the hair around my crown area and I'm pulling it back into a high ponytail. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take the rest of my hair and I'm going to tie it together with the top ponytail. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow the first ponytail to be stronger and it's gonna create a more lifted effect, as you can see by this side-by-side -side comparison. So on the left side, I just tied my hair into a regular ponytail as I usually do using one strong hair elastic. And on the right, I used the method with the two hair elastics. So as you can see, this one is a lot more fluffy and a lot more perky. And then you can take it one step further and disguise the ponytail by covering it up with a section of hair. Okay, so if you're a real, real broke girl and you don't even have any hair elastics, I'm gonna show you how you can style your hair without any tools whatsoever. So as you can see, I'm just braiding a regular three strand braid and notice that I'm not separating the ends of the hair as I braid. I want the ends to tangle up in each other and this is going to create an organic knot. I'm then gonna take the ends of my hair once I can't braid anymore and I'm gonna pull it through the center of the bottom of the braid. And that, my friends, is how you create a self-knotted braid without any hairstyling tools. Come on, you can't get better than that. 
So I have an amazing DIY hair lightening mask for those of you who want to gently lighten your hair without any hair damage or if you want to get rid of any brassy tones in your hair or if you want to create a slight lightening effect. So to create this DIY natural bleach that will not damage your hair, all you need is two cups of distilled vinegar which removes buildup from your hair so the lightening agents can penetrate the hair strands better. It also makes the application and removal of the next ingredient super easy. Then you're going to need one cup of raw uncooked honey. This is the main attraction of this recipe. Raw honey has small traces of naturally existing hydrogen peroxide, aka the lightening agent. Once you scoop that out, you're going to need one tablespoon of EVOO or extra virgin olive oil. And what this does is keep the hair healthy and soft and prevents it from drying out and it also helps boost the lightening effect. And the last ingredient is one tablespoon of cinnamon and the cinnamon also helps boost the lightening effect. So now what you want to do is combine all of the ingredients and mix them together as evenly as possible. Then you want to distribute the mixture evenly with a brush or comb through your damp hair wherever you want to create a lightening effect. You can also just apply the mixture wherever you want highlights and after you've applied the mixture wrap your hair in plastic wrap or a shower cap and leave the mixture in your hair overnight night and then wash it out in the morning. The hydrogen peroxide in raw honey is very, very gentle. So don't worry, you're not going to damage your hair or over bleach it or over process it. It has a very, very subtle lightening effect. So you can do this once a week until you achieve your desired color. All right, you guys, so I'm going to share with you my favorite hair mask for growing longer, thicker hair. So many high-end hair growth products can also cost anywhere from $60 and over. And I mean way over, some costing hundreds of dollars for only a few treatments. What if I told you that you can make a dupe of the best quality DIY hair growth hair mask in your kitchen for less than $30 and you can get a good 50 treatments out of it? That's only 60 cents per treatment. So all you're going to need is coconut oil, castor oil, rosemary essential oil, and this one is optional, but I like to add in some peppermint essential oil. And this has very similar properties to the rosemary essential oil, but it also helps counteract the scent of the rosemary oil. So I just combined all of these ingredients into a, a bowl and I like to do one part castor oil to one part coconut oil. And if your hair is on the thinner or finer side, I would suggest using less of the castor oil just because it's a lot thicker. And then I just put in about 30 drops of the rosemary essential oil and 30 drops of the peppermint essential oil. I mix up all of these ingredients in the bowl and then I transfer them over to a squirt bottle. And there you go, a super high quality DIY hair mask for hair growth that you can make at home. And this particular combination usually lasts me about four applications. If you have thinner hair, it'll probably last you about six. So this will stretch your dollar a long, long way. Okay, so now that you've adopted some of the bro girl hair hacks from this video and your hair is growing a mile a minute, this means that your roots are gonna start growing out much faster. So how does a bro girl extend the time in between diet jobs to prevent spending more money at the hair salon? Simply use a pigmented eyeshadow or a dry shampoo that is the same color as the rest of your hair. And you only need to apply the product wherever your hair is parted. Or you can just pull a Nikki and dye your hair ombre and let your natural roots do their thing. So this is an amazing hack to create an abundance of different hairstyles without going out and getting some fancy hairstyling tools. So I had this old stocking sock and I promise you guys it is clean. I lost the other sock so I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this as a hairstyling tool. So all I did was tie the stocking sock around the ends of my hair and then I coiled up my hair all the way up to the side of my head. And then as you can see, I'm shaping it into a beautiful voluminous chignon and I'm just pinning it in place with a bunch of bobby pins. You can also use this exact same technique to create a beautiful voluminous bun on the top of your head or at the back of your head. The options are really endless. The beauty about not having an abundance of money to spend on all of these hairstyling tools is that it forces you to get creative. So be smart, be savvy, and I promise you, you'll look like a million bucks.
Okay, my love, so that wraps up another hair hack video. I really hope that you enjoyed these tips and tricks and will try them out yourself because to be completely honest, these hacks are not just for bro girls. It's for the everyday girl who wants to change up her hair without damaging her hair because let's face it, all these fancy schmancy expensive products, a lot of the time they have a bunch of nasty chemicals in them and we have no idea what they're doing to our hair. So not only am I saving you money, but I'm also saving your hair because all these natural, beautiful ingredients and oils all they're going to do is nourish your hair and bring it back to life i personally use and have used all of the hacks in this video not because i want to save money although that is a fabulous bonus but because honestly i think they work better than the pricier alternatives and they keep my hair healthy and strong so i really hope that you guys try out and experience all of the amazing benefits from these hair hacks for yourself and think twice next time before you splurge on a ridiculously overpriced hair product that you probably don't need if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos like this one and if you haven't got enough hair inspiration on the fancy hair youtube channel right over here you can follow the fancy hair instagram account thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i hope to see you in my next video